A fixed speed camera outside a suburban primary school has generated almost $3 million in fines in just over a year. Live now to Elise Baker at Goodwood and Elise, this makes it one of the state's highest grossing cameras. Yeah, that's right, Brent. And the camera behind me here at the Goodwood Primary School pedestrian crossing generated the third highest number of traffic fines in the past financial year. It was switched on in May last year, two years after the speed limit was dropped from 60 kilometres an hour to 50 kilometres an hour. While no doubt it's caused some headaches for the almost 9,000 motorists caught here doing the wrong thing, parents we spoke with at the primary school today say it's an important safety tool. I definitely think it's a good idea, of course, you know, with the kids being at school there and it gets a bit hairy here sometimes. I use this maybe six times a day and I see maybe five times a week I see somebody driving straight through. Straight through. So if it helps to slow people down, it might save a life, then I think that's good. The two fixed cameras on the southeastern freeway are the highest earners. The Leewood Gardens camera raking in almost $8 million. The one at Crafer's more than $4 million. Goodwood Road Snapper sits third. Montague Road at Ingle Farm. And the camera at the level crossing on Woodville Road rounding out the top five. And the advice from authorities for those who want to avoid one of those hefty fines in the mail is to simply slow down. Makes sense. Thank you, Elise.